Hey y'all, how's everyone doing? Well, I wanted to show you a purchase I made and I think I may return just because, I don't know, because I have too many purses, but I've been wanting a bucket bag. A long time ago, I went to, what was it? Um, was it Ross? I think it was Ross. It was like a Ross store, right? Um, and I came across a Valentino black bucket bag. And it smelled so good. And that is exactly what this smells like. And it was just a good leather bag. And so I always wanted to get another black bag like that. And then I thought, you know, you have a lot of black bags. Especially you have your Daniel from Hammett. Uh, you recently got your mystery bag. And you have your... Uh, Chanel Trendy. So you have a lot of black bags that you would wear. Um, and the brand that I picked, because it is a really good leather brand, is Dooney & Burke. So here is the dust bag. And the bag color I chose was to be a little more natural, like to wear with jeans every day, not worry about beating it up, because this is that kind of leather you want to beat up. Have you ever heard of such a leather? And it smells like a cow. I mean, it smells like a cow is in here. Not manure, but very strong odor of leather. Now, when I say odor, I don't mean it in a bad way. I'm just being honest. It is a very rugged bag, and it's beautiful. I'm going to put it next to my face so you know the size. It's a little big, but this is one of those bags you could take with you anywhere and do anything with, and I, that's why I think I'm actually going to end up keeping it. I can't, I can't decide, y'all. I just know that I've bought a lot of bags lately, and y'all know that's my thing, like I love handbags, right? I'm not a big shoe buyer, um, clothes I buy just to have stuff to wear, um, you know, makeup, yes, even when I don't need it, skincare lately, but I'm just finding out, I'll be honest with y'all, I don't feel like it makes that much difference, just put some lotion on, but anyway, I don't know, I'm still going to keep trying different skincares. Um, even stuff that's got hyaluronic acid and retinol, I'm like, is it making a difference? Do I look any younger to y'all? Do I look like I'm not getting older? Maybe that's it. Maybe you just say, well, Beth, yeah, so quit using that. Just see what happens. Well, over time, I'll look older because guess what? I'm older. But anyway, okay. So, the bag. It's the Dooney and Burke. Um, and the name of it is the Hattie Drawstring. Hattie, like H-A-T-T-I-E, Drawstring. It's in color natural which to me is this beautiful tan, and it's got, um, the contrast color is like a taupey brown. It's like a gray brown, almost a black, but it's more of a brown. On the edges where they've done the glue, it is a beautiful burgundy. The contrast stitching is yellow or gold, if you want to call it that. To me, it's a yellow stitching. And so this is this side, which has the actual, do the, the drawstring and the Dooney and Burke um, emblem. And then on this side, it says the kind of leather this is. And it's called Florentine Vachetta Leather. Genuine Florentine Vachetta. Vachetta is a tough leather. Vachetta also will take to patinaing, meaning over time, this bag color will change. It will get darker and darker. The more I touch it like this, if I had lotion on, it's going to do. Um, it's, it's a tough leather. I mean, it's tough. I think I'm going to keep it. Not only that. It's got a really wide shoulder strap, and it's short, so I'm a short person, so I want it short, um, because look where it hangs on me. It's like perfect. But I also could use this almost like a hand bag. I mean, you know, because I could just grab it like that and throw it in the car. But this is, to me, it is a shoulder bag. Um, as you can see, it's not giving a lot yet. For one thing, this is, I believe, real brass. This is heavy duty. All right, so when I pull this back, you also see it says 1975 on this side and a duck. And on this side, it says Dooney and Burke. And it's got a white background with gold writing. There's the duck. Y'all can see that. And there's the white and gold writing. So you can see that. It also does not lay down. Do you see that? It stays up. So that's one thing you got to think about. I don't know. It does stay down if you pull it all the way down and pull this behind it. I feel like, for one thing, this is going to loosen as the leather gives in, and uh, everything's going to. So, okay, on the other side, it does not have any Dooney and Burke at all. 
um, designation. It is one side only. I think that's kind of interesting. That's not matchy matchy. Anyway, so you can fold it back this way, and then, yes, it does stay down. It doesn't have to stay up, so I shouldn't have said that. Here's the other piece of it. This is a nice, tight drawstring. So you pull this all the way out, and then you open it. Okay? It's a little tight right now. Not really, but kind of. All right, so let's pull the... It's got uh, a, an upper band of an emerald green, which is very outdoorsy woodsy, you know, to have the, the green... And the brown together is very pretty. And then you've got the dark brown or taupey brown um, draw strength. My goodness. Oh, my goodness. This is really big, y'all. Very, very deep. Oh, my gosh. And it's got a ton of these thingies, the silicone things. So we'll have to deal with those. Remember, you cut them over the toilet and let them go down the drain. You don't want that to get in a child's mouth or an animal's mouth. Because um, it dries up moisture and it could dry up the moisture of the stomach. So, it also has this little um, cord, and it's not leather, it's a canvas cord, and um, it's got a um, spring ring on the end for your keys, so you can, because it is a very deep purse. Now, one thing that I do like about it is the green, this beautiful dark green stops there, and down inside is a white, this is um, suede, this is, um, it feels like a, this, this leather. It's leather. This is a very well-made purse. Okay. It's got a zipper. Looky there, y'all. It's got the stickers inside to show that it's a genuine leather, genuine Dooney and Burke. And the um, Hattie drawstring again. It's also got, uh, this is probably a warranty card, your bag number. And in this case, I would do it because this is going to be one rugged bag. It's a very good good quality zipper okay it's got a red back zipper to it so, like my hammock on oh, in the hammock it's a bright red and it's got a pocket and that's probably where I will throw my cell phone either that one or this one this one's a little deeper and I do have a 12 as you can see here's my 12 hold on here's my 12 easily fits in there um, and then also and it probably easily fits in the other one let me flip this back around yeah it fits there too or you could throw your car keys in there or put the car keys in the deep one. That also has next to it a place for sunglasses or pens. Remember, if you ever use a pen, there's those snack kind of baggies that are elongated. Put that in there or some kind of a bag that's plastic so that if you have pens that leak, it doesn't ruin your purse, especially if you should ever resell it. Y'all, I've got to tell you, I kind of feel like I'm going to keep this bag, and I was just fixing to return it, but now that I've reviewed it with you, I really think this is a fantastic purse. I do. And, um, gosh knows, it is a very strong leather smell. All right, again, to close it, you just close it like that, and then you pull the little um, item back down there that keeps it closed. Or you can just leave it open, either way, depending on how you like to do things. It does, oh, it does. I was going to say, it doesn't have the little feet on the bottom, but it actually does have the little feet on the bottom. Um, let's listen to it. So it protects the bottom a little bit. It's got just not just the feet, but this piece here, and it's also double stitched here. So this is one of those bags that I just think can go on and on, y'all. This was four hundred and ninety-eight dollars, I believe, and every penny worth it. This is a very good, strong leather. It's a nice bag. You know what this would be good for? Just in the fall season, just going, 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 and also if you go on a trip, because you can just throw everything in it and your husband's stuff. Because he never was, babe, do you have room for my wallet? Sure. Do you have room for, um, can you throw my phone in there until we get back out? Or can you throw this in there? I'm like, sure. And so whenever I go on trips with him, I need a big bag. <laughs> there it is again, y'all. I'll back up a little so you can see it. What do you think? Should I keep it? Kind of feeling like I should. And you don't have to fill it all up. It can get collapsed and not be so big, right? I mean, you can squish it down a little bit. That's a great smell. I was going to get a um, the drawstring bag from um, Brahmin. I think it's called the Marlowe. M-A-L-O-W-E. Um, this will... Here's the good news. Because of the way this is stitched in the middle, this will not just come right off the end. Because that will stop it. Because I was like, what if it just comes off the end? Well, it can't. So that's good. That's very good. Because I was like, what if you... 
you lose that little thing. Worst case scenario, you could cut it in two, make two little knots, and just still tie it and make it a drawstring. But it's got it to where it won't do that. So that's good. And it can just stay down. I think what I would do is loosen it a little first. Like this, just a little bit. If I was just carrying this every day. And, um... do like it actually and what was the price again I think that the 400 was right I got a discount because I got it on HSN no QVC um, they were having a Dooney and Burke favorite handbags you know they have certain brands that they do promote like it's cosmetics and Dooney and Burke and they do have Dooney and Burke's are really substantial purses they kind of remind me of coach in that the leather's good leather and the hardware's good tough hardware like that is going to hold up um, and look at all this double stitching. I mean, it's really well made, y'all. Can you see all that? To make sure that doesn't come undone. There's stitching here. There's stitching across it. Um, and the interior is also very, very well done. Very well done. You can see that. Let me loosen it a little more so you can see it. Really loosen it up. So you can see inside. Very good. Oh, God, it smells so good, y'all. I feel like I have found the bag I've been looking for since I lost gave away that Valentino. I think I'm going to keep it. Y'all comment below. What do you think? Would you keep this bag? Let me know your thoughts, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye! <laughs> Here I go with another bag, but I do. I think I really like it, y'all. What do you think? Comment below. Talk to you soon. Bye!